This wasn't about what I thought it was going to be about. The Netflix documentary, The Antisocial Network, Memes to Mayhem, doesn't really focus on Facebook or Twitter, but instead dives into 4chan and Anonymous. From the rise of QAnon to the January 6th riots, the Antisocial Network explains how a group of bored teenagers built an online community out of their shared loneliness, but accidentally shattered the consensus reality in the process. This is a very engaging and enthralling documentary movie. Now, like I said, it's not what I thought it was going to be. I mostly droom scroll Facebook and Twitter for memes just to send to my family. Because of how toxic both of those platforms can be, I just figured this documentary would speak towards the isolation that's created by these pseudo-social outlets. <laughs> no, that's not what this is about at all. I mean, we get an education on 2chan, and how that influenced the creation of 4chan, then the inevitable 8chan. Plus, the story details out those that were so disenfranchised by society that they eventually created the collective known as Anonymous. Now we get interviews with the actual people who started and were part of Anonymous, as well as those that helped to build 4chan into the meme behemoth it was and is. The interviews are informative, sometimes distressing, almost always eye-opening though. And maybe that's because a lot of this was new info for me. I mean, I knew who Anonymous was, but outside of being a hacking consortium that typically just targets the devious and greedy, I didn't know of their origins and even the internal drama and strife that was also occurring. This illustrates some of the cloak and dagger both the hackers and the government alphabet agencies employed to go after their respective targets. And so many of the details have found their way into scripts that feature technology hacking and cyber crimes. I mean, and that makes it just fun for somebody who loves watching movies. And you can see where some stories got their influences. I think, though, the most fascinating part of this documentary is how the meme culture was able to attract, then influence, and then direct segments of society into willful action. The in-jokes that are contained within memes are slightly broken down so that those of us that are outside the sphere can get a basic understanding of how one meme was built and then added to continuously to craft a series of inside jokes where increasingly smaller segments were in on it. And then, that's horrifying to watch as these chaotic influencers built the persona known as Q, or QAnon, taking old memes, sometimes those that were very niche, and using them to craft Q insights, to which sheeple then ate up like it was just absolute fact passed down directly from God. And then all the while, the memesters are just laughing their butts off at how the feeble-minded took it all in. And this is where not only the hackers, but any sane individual begins to say, oh crap, what has happened? The documentary shows how strife splintered the groups, some choosing to engage and promote nationalistic white supremacy thoughts and their actions, while others, they just wanted to focus solely on using their collective power to bring injustices to light. Now, both were effective in their goals, with one being way more disturbing and terrible than the other. And we can even see the effects today. And the documentary brings us right up into current events, illustrating how the actions snowballed from simple and harmless memes to actions that led to loss of life. Now, I appreciate the perspectives that we get from the interviewees. At first, when most of them start speaking, they reminisce with the sense of longing, like their previous actions were the good old days and the work that they were doing was noble and right. Maybe some of it was. But we also get to see so many of them examine where those past decisions and actions led seeing the unforeseen outcomes played out, and then knowing that they had a hand in influencing the present. Now, if this were a fictionalized story, I'd talk about their character growth. <laughs> you know what? That's exactly what we're shown here. We get to witness people acknowledge responsibility, even culpability, I mean, at least to an extent. I think there are one or two who are still more proud of what they did, regardless of any outcome, than maybe they should be. And this shows us that they either haven't matured or just don't see anything wrong with their conduct and then you get to judge whether you support their stance or not. Now, I think what also helps to keep this documentary balanced is that we are provided outside insight by journalists who covered the rise of these platforms and groups. They can dispassionately examine behaviors and motives, as well as the outcomes and what those meant for not only the participants, but the general public as well. Now, this is a quick watch at just 84 minutes, but it packs in the details and the info so that it feels like the necessary points are dissected to provide understanding and even discussion. There are also a lot of creative visuals to help illustrate complex ideas. Now, sometimes it didn't really work for me because they felt more distracting than helpful, but on the whole, they did provide visual interest that also helped move the story along efficiently. So overall, 
the anti-social network Memes to Mayhem provides valuable insight into the rise of Anonymous, 4chan, and even QAnon, at least for those that don't know much about them. The documentary expertly balances the ideas and stories from those involved with investigative journalists who've spent their careers researching the information. The storytelling is efficient and concise while also providing lengthy interviews to establish legitimacy. And while not every facet of these online entities are examined, we are shown enough to create compelling and convincing arguments for how the actions of these online groups have worked to shape and even dictate the current political and emotional landscape of the United States. There's very brief sex and nudity, most of which is just blurred or shown extremely quickly, a lot of profanity, and some violence. Now, as a reminder, I don't give couch ratings to documentaries, but I highly recommend checking out the Antisocial Network, Memes to Mayhem, which is on Netflix. It'll most likely freak you out just a bit while also causing you to shake your head, maybe even laugh at some of the people. So what's a conspiracy theory that really interests you? Let me know about it in the comments below. If you enjoyed this review, please give it a like. Also, don't forget to share and subscribe. I'm Chris. This is Movies and Munchies. Thanks for couching with me.